My first guest this week is Mr. Edwin Marshall. He's the CEO of a company called Metazone International Incorporated. Their stock symbol is MZEI. Uh, Edwin, welcome to uh, Las Vegas. Thank you, Don. Glad, Glad to have you here. here. Yes. Now, fascinating company. I really enjoyed doing the research on this. You describe yourself as a research and development company. You're engaged in the developing of something called a Septisure system. Bottom line, you're helping sterilize surgical units in hospitals, hospital rooms, healthcare facilities. Uh, give us a general overview of the company. Uh, the company first became publicly traded in 1986. And our primary focus at that time was HIV, hepatitis C, blood therapies, that sort of thing. Uh, through the years, the company became a little bit stalled and I ended up taking the company over by hospital proxy action. Okay. Um, in 1997, I was a shareholder of the company, a fairly large shareholder and the company really had stalled out. And I uh, put in a half million dollars of my own money and we took control of the company through a vote of our shareholders. We have about 3,000 shareholders. Our market cap's a little over $60 million. Um, I actually have two board members in my company that have personally invested over three quarters of a million. Wow. So we have a, a dedicated, dedicated group of people. And we've changed our focus uh, in that what we wanted to do is we wanted to bring a product to market that would come to market quickly and bring revenues to the company. And that's where the timing of this is quite interesting because we expect to start generating revenues about the time September rolls around. Now, I want to further illustrate a point here because he didn't say something he told me off the air, but you also at some point mortgaged your free and clear house for more funds into this company because you believe in it so much. I owned a free and clear house, and, uh, or did, <laughs> and yes, I did. I mortgaged my house so I could put a half million dollars in the wow. company. Now, let's talk, let's go to the very beginning of what Aseptasure does. What is sure. the basic problem in a hospital room sure. that you're solving? Okay, uh, the United States Center for Disease Control now refers to nosocomial infections, which are frequently referred to as hospital-acquired infections mm -hmm. or superbug infections, as a silent epidemic. More people die from infections, infections that they contact in hospital today than die of AIDS. Mm. This is a global problem. Every five minutes in the United States, someone dies of preventable infection they acquired in hospital. These, these bugs have gotten so strong that treating these diseases such as uh, medicillin resistant staph caucus, MRSA, staph infections, C. difficile, things like this, the, the antibiotics are no longer responding and it's become a global problem. In the United States, 100,000 people die every year. Um, but it's a global problem and it's truly a silent epidemic. Um, what a septic sure does is, and, and this is our redirection, we have portable equipment that's very affordable. We roll into a room, we seal the room off, the equipment is operated remotely, the room receives a gas charge of a patented product that we've developed in our laboratories up in Kingston, Canada. Mm -hmm. And we charge that room, killing all pathogens to the sterilization standard of 6-log, which is 99.9999% bacterial kill. Then the room is cleaned up, uh, put back in operation. The whole pr process takes 80 to 90 minutes. We go on to the next room. Now, uh, We've all heard, I think, at one time or another, of somebody we know, or maybe some famous person that went through a surgical procedure, was in the hospital, and obtained some kind of infection. Um, you gave a couple of industry estimates, but you and I have been talking for about five minutes, and you're saying in that period of time that we've been talking, someone has now just someone died. Someone in the United States has died of a hospital-acquired infection that wow. was preventable. And, you know, when we think when we go into a hospital, we think we're going into a safe, completely sterile environment. How has this escaped all these years? Well, part of it is the use of antibiotics overprescribed in the United States. So we have antibiotics that are no longer working particularly well. At the same time, the bugs are mutating and getting stronger. But the curve, I have a graph, I didn't bring it with me, but the graph that the CDC does goes like this. From the 90s up to 2007, the curve just goes like this on the infection rate. It's just, it's just insane. And the hospitals are doing the best they can, but the standard cleaning procedures they use just don't work. You have to keep in mind that a colony of bacteria can be 10,000 bugs. Just one little colony 
which is like a pencil point. Mm -hmm. It takes 200 to infect you. Wow. wow. So you can get 99% elimination, and it's not enough because you still don't have a sterile room. And that's what current cleaning procedures do. They don't even get to 99%. They're less than that. So even though a room may have just been cleaned, when you go into that room, if there was MRSA or C. difficile spores in that room, it's still there. And in 24 hours, they, of course, will grow more. The company is Metazone International. Their stock symbol is MZEI. If you'd like more information, please give us a call, 888 259 or you can text Money TV to GO800 to get free information in the mail. Um, let's talk again about exactly what Aseptasure does. So as you mentioned, it's a portable unit. The hospital doesn't have to build a new wing in the, in the, uh, in the hospital. Uh, they don't have to have uh, any special power requirements. No. Our unit is designed on a 20 amp circuit. Okay. So essentially what happens, I'll just tell you how we operate it. We, let's say we have a, a operational theater we're going to go into, okay. an operating room we're going to clean up. We go into that operating room, the equipment is put in the room, uh, 3M makes a product for us, it is a sealing and tape product. Okay. And any vents out of the room, we seal, it takes just a minute or two. We close the door to the operating theater, we seal the outside of the door. So now the equipment is in the room by itself, the room is sealed. From outside, we have a remote, remote control unit, the technician turns on the unit, the room is charged, the treatment time is only 30 minutes. It takes about 15 to 18 minutes, depending on the room size, to bring the charge of the gas up to full capacity. The treatment is 30 minutes, at which time the equipment is turned off. A second technology is turned on, which then takes that gas that's in the room, sucks it through a carbon filter, and turns it into pure oxygen. I see. So then, once that happens, and that takes about 18 minutes, so start to finish, 80 to 90 minutes. 80, 90 minutes, the entire room is completely Absolutely sterilized. antiseptic, sterilized. No damage to electronics, no damage to the room infrastructure. It's a sterile environment. And the and room is then unsealed, you move on to the next room. Safe to do a surgical procedure and don't have to worry about any kind of infection. Occurring. Absolutely. Absolutely sterile environment. Now, I understand that just recently you made this announcement that you were able to test your system under room scale conditions. Tell us about that. Right. Um, we have laboratories up in... Uh, Kingston, Canada at Queen's University, which is one of the most prestigious teaching universities for the medical school uh, in Canada, for medical schools in Canada. Um, our director of medical affairs is Dr. Michael E. Shannon, and he runs, he runs that facility up there. Michael is a re retired from the Canadian Health Department of Health. He was the director general for the Laboratory Center of Disease Control. So and we have an absolutely top guy running our facility. We have one laboratory, uh, which we have actually photographs on display here at the, at the exhibition, mm -hmm. which is our little lab unit. And then the second laboratory is a mock-up hospital room. In other words, it's a full-scale room where we will use the full-scale mm -hmm. equipment. And ever since we've been using the, the large-scale room, without exception, on every single run, we have completely eliminated every pathogen wow. in the room. That is really remarkable. Now, I guess the first question that's probably coming to the minds of people watching this program is, does this, is this going to require any lengthy FDA approval process? I mean, what is Great the question. procedure that you have to go through in regards yeah, to that? Good question, Brian. The beauty of this is that it's not an FDA protocol oh, because right. it's, it's not a human therapy, it's not a medical device. This is a sterilizing agent, so it falls under the EPA. And we, we actually hired a uh, very, very experienced EPA expert Mm -hmm. uh, a guy by the name of Dr. David Barnes. He spent 20 years doing drug reviews for the FDA. And uh, David's assessment is that it's category one. It's a very simple EPA uh, qualification. Have you had many conversations with uh, hospital administrators, healthcare facilities about your technology? And I would imagine once they hear about it, they're like, okay, where can we go out and buy one? Right now, we're getting ready to start in hospital beta testing, which will just replicate what we've already done in our laboratory at Kingston and one of the three hospitals up there. Um, we also, and I, I don't feel free I can mention the name of them because we haven't signed contracts with okay. them yet, but we have two sites in the United States that are very prestigious medical teaching facilities that are going to come online in June. Oh great. So we're going to have two sites in June in the United States plus the Canadian site which will confirm everything we've said in our lab. 
We have peer review journal article that will be published probably the end of July or early August, and we expect to be in production by August or September. Again, the company is MetaZone International, M-Z-E-I is their stock symbol. Uh, Ed, we're going to be following your company very closely over the appreciate next three it. months. We're initiating coverage this week. Looking forward to some updates over that period of time. I appreciate you joining us here in Las Vegas. Thank you, sir. Take care. Pleasure.